This is a song for the beginning of my video I'm just a human trying to see how this life thing goes I don't know, but I do know what I've learned So I want to share it with my fellow Earth Angels Thank you so much for being here and joining me today. I am so excited to drop into this conversation. You don't need anything to live a spiritual life or to begin your spiritual journey. I love this meme right here, this starter pack, but for me, spirituality means being the physical embodiment of all the love and healing that my past self needed, being the embodiment of unconditional love, being less reactive, more discerning, more compassionate, going beyond my samskaras, going beyond my self-limiting beliefs and karmas that continue playing out, breaking cycles of self-deprecation. And all of these things that I define as spirituality have nothing to do with the external, with the kind of yoga clothes that I'm wearing or owning tons of crystals or where I live. It's a very intimate relationship with something beyond yourself and the yearning to evolve. At least that is my definition. And I wanted to share some of my greatest teachers and conduits to awakening. We are all the universe exploring itself in human form. And an awakening is the acknowledgement of that, the acknowledgement that there is no real separation. And my greatest teacher was my childhood trauma, was my unstable household. And I am so grateful for my upbringing because I was very early on planted a seed of discernment when chaos was happening all around me and there was violence and screaming and heavy emotions and I could see how fear was a plague in a small room and how one person carrying anger would easily spark it and everyone else, I was able to witness the human condition <laughs> and how emotions are just so volatile. And yes, it's trauma in the way that I learned to be quiet, to keep myself safe, or that hiding myself or making myself small protected me. And I was able to witness what I didn't want to partake in. That level of depth and hurt and pain that I have healed is now the level that I carry with me and can meet other people with who have also gone through really dense realities. And I truly feel like all the darkness and sadness of my heart and um, otherness that I felt throughout so much of my life was then filled with so much light and belonging and safety. And so whatever your traumas are, like my anxiety, my depression, my life ending thoughts, those are my greatest teachers. And even my triggers, it's all a way for me to grow beyond the stories that keep me stuck and repeating old patterns so that I can tap into my highest timeline so that I can do the most good on this earth so that I can access my fullest potential and I think that's really what spirituality can be is just going beyond yourself going beyond the trauma and the pain in the story so that you can be your fullest embodiment and use all of your gifts without fear without questioning and of course another one of my greatest teachers was nature my safe space is anywhere in nature I can feel the pulse and the heartbeat of life and I feel like nature is fifth dimensional consciousness I feel like nature is fully enlightened just vibrating at such an optimal high frequency and when I step into the woods or cleanse in waters I just feel the purity of nature. I feel like nature is this womb where everything is so raw and wild and there's life and death and it's all welcomed. And I feel like every part of me is welcomed. I love being naked in nature, specifically being barefoot in nature is like so great. I know that there's scientific benefits of having your bare feet on the earth. And I try to do that at least once a day, especially if I'm 
playing with my technology, maybe hugging some trees and feeling that life energy fill my body. Then I just started talking to everything. Like if I saw little fishies in the pond, I would talk to them or I would talk to the trees. Even when I'm driving past, you know, beautiful spots in nature, I will say prayers to all of the trees and all of the earth. I feel like anywhere that I go, I want to bless the earth with my frequency and I want to show my gratitude just through my presence. It feels like such a safe space and invokes my inner child a lot to talk to the moon, to talk to the birds, to say hello to the bees and really have a relationship with nature which is so natural to us. I know that there's a lot of nuances with the law of attraction and the privilege that comes with manifesting certain things and I think there's also a science to it as well and I think it just kind of boils down to your mindset, your attitude, your intention, and actually doesn't feel super woo-woo to me at all. It's more so like the energy that you're carrying, you're pouring into everything, and you will get it back. And having a clear idea of what you want your future to look like will only bring you closer to that because you know what you want. And if you don't know what you want, then what are you even working towards or how can you prepare to create that life for yourself. So for me, it's just like a simple, systematic way of planning your life. And I just wanted to share some free things that you can do to begin your spiritual practice because it really, you don't have to have tons of money or perfect skin or perfect body to begin to heal and be embraced by the energy of peace, essentially. The first thing I'll say is prayer. This has been a really huge part of my life and is similar to my conversations to the fishies and the deer out in nature or to the moon. I actually don't really set aside time to pray, but I just do it in any moment that feels right or that I feel like I just wanna to talk to someone. I'll call upon my angels, my guides, ancestors, star family, my highest self, my future self, and I will just speak out loud or in my head and almost have a conversation with the higher consciousness perspective within my mind and energetically to whoever I wish to call upon and commune with. I am struggling to breathe deeply today. Please assist me in finding my breath and connecting with the part of me that knows everything is going to be okay. Please remind me today what hope feels like, what joy feels like. I vow to be open to receiving any unexpected miracles that might be seeking me in each now moment, things like this. And it feels so fun and safe. It is really healing to know that you're not alone and that you can ask for help. Gratitude is another practice. I feel like it really is a practice that I have taken with me throughout my entire journey, even when things were really shitty. I always tried to find the miracle in every single story no matter what my external reality looked like. And I do know that I am so blessed with my health at the very least, no matter what is going on around me. Like if I'm healthy, that is an immense blessing that I can see with two eyes, that I can walk with two legs, that I can breathe deeply without pain. I am immensely grateful or that I can feed myself. I've had many moments where I didn't know where I was going to get my next meal. And so I'm so grateful for nourishment and a roof over my head and a bed and a door to close behind me there are so many ways to switch your perspective into gratitude just by knowing that every little thing that you have is such a miracle and a blessing and I feel even grateful for the ability to have time and space to be introspective attitude of gratitude it's a teacher it's a lesson and it does become really addicting and easy after you kind of rewire your brain and neural pathways to find the light in every situation listening to your body and bringing awareness to how it responds to everything that it's taking in through the senses is such a powerful meditation that you can be doing all the time. We truly are always eating with our eyes, with our ears, with our mouths. We're absorbing frequencies and energies through the conversations that we're having, the media that we're watching, and of course the food that we're eating. 
the words that we're speaking. Sometimes the intelligence of the body is beyond the intelligence of the mind. I love having a manifestation journal. I always have one and I personally put all of my highs and lows in that journal. Some people have separate journals, one for manifestation, one for things that they're healing, one just for day-to-day -day events, but I kind of just put all of mine in one because it's easier and it's always accessible if it's just one little journal. And it's a great place for introspection. If you feel weird about praying, just journal out what you're feeling and what you're growing through. Whenever you open the pages to be like, I'm vowing to see things from the higher consciousness perspective and then write about your day and adding photos, doodling. I do a mix of poetry, just my day-to-day -day events and things that touched me really deeply, realizations that I've had. I also like to write specific affirmations for what I'm healing. It's really sweet ways of communicating with yourself. There are also healing vibrations on YouTube, frequencies that you can listen to. If you're watching this video, then I'm sure you have access to all of this. Saying prayers at night, doing five minutes of breath work, you will feel a shift when you touch one thing with deep awareness you touch everything and the last thing that I'm going to say is to embody these lessons in your day-to-day -day life what can be a really spiritual experience is doing something that goes beyond your comfort zone for me that is speaking my boundaries and really practicing my affirmation so I can say I'm worthy of taking up space and that embody looks like being like hey I really felt uncomfortable the way that you were touching me before can we talk about this essentially embodying love in real time also not reacting when you feel like reacting when someone who's clearly in a negative headspace is saying something mean or hurtful or being rude to you at the store instead of being like like, well, you're da 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 da, or giving them the finger, or something like that. Just having the awareness that they're probably going through something that you don't understand. You don't need to tell them to go to hell because they're already there in their frequency. You can learn so much about yourself just by interacting with the world and trying to be less reactive. Those are just some things that I feel are really great ways to start your spiritual journey and free ways to actually practice and continue to evolve and grow and feel more hopeful in this world. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel and receiving my energy today. Everything that I'm sharing is just my humble experience and just my perspective and not the ultimate truth. I'm basically just sharing all of my experience and also being like, I have no idea. This is just what has unfolded along my path and your truth is just as valid. Okay, thank you so much. I cherish you upon this earth. Thank you for rising and being just as you are. I believe in you. I'm proud of you and you're doing so great. I'll see you in a video soon. Bye.